Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video and this is going to cover everything that I sold while I was on vacation. Yes, I was making money while on vacation. I did put my closet on vacation mode for just a couple days. That basically just means that all of the listings in your closet go from for sale to not for sale so that no one can buy anything. Um, just for a couple days so that you know the shipping wouldn't get too stretched out however I did end up still having a pretty heavy shipping delay so if you purchase anything for me recently I apologize for the shipping delay um, we went to New Orleans we were there for uh, five days four nights so it was really fun we had amazing food great time and I am back ready to get back into it. I think we have around 25 items here so let's go ahead and get into it. Our first piece is from my men's closet. This was my only men's sale but it was a pretty good one. This is Ibex brand which is a definite bolo for you guys. They make a lot of merino wool material items. This is no exception. It has the embroidered logo on the back. Really high quality. This had a few tiny holes in the back uh, that you really cannot notice them. I had to hold it up to the light to see it. And I did notice them while I was at the bins, but I still chose to pick it up because a lot of people who wear these merino wool type items from Ibex, Smart Wool, Icebreaker, I think those are the main merino wool brands. A lot of people don't care about small holes. Uh, merino wool and cashmere are susceptible to getting holes. Um, a lot of people wear this stuff as base layers. Probably not this shirt because it is more of a uh, more formal top with like the pockets, chest pockets and stuff. So I listed this at 40 and I would say after a couple months I got an offer of 36 which was awesome. I obviously did note all of the flaws and anything like that and yeah still sold for 36 It probably retailed for around 100 My earnings were $28.80 and my net profit was $27.80. I picked that up at the bin so very happy with that sale highly recommend you guys keep an eye out for ibex okay next up we have a blouse from madewell this is so cute it's a kind of faux wrap front blouse it's a crossover it crosses over and buttons and then it has an elastic waist this is new with tags which was very exciting. Size extra large, great size, really cute kind of plaid print. And I picked this up at my local family thrift center outlet for $2. I was really excited to find it. I always love finding new tags, made well, anthropology, free people, anything really. And this was a full price sale, which was so exciting. $35 uh, that made my earnings 28 and my net profit 26 so I hope the buyer loves it it's super cute even though this is a little bit more of a basic shirt from Madewell which I am pickier with I was still very excited to find this particular piece just because of the size and the condition new with tags um, so there definitely are some variables that can kind of elevate a piece in regards to kind of sellability in my opinion and i would say those are both factors okay next up a bundle first off is this adorable shirt this is seriously so cute so it's a plaid front with a patchwork floral print sleeve and then patchwork uh, or piece together materials and back. It's like a rayon abstract kind of floral print with plaid on the sides and then studding up top. You have some fraying going on. This is seriously so cool. 
It had absolutely no brand tag, so I'm not sure what brand it was, unfortunately. It does look kind of boutique to me, but definitely a good quality. I mean, all of the materials feel really sturdy and high quality to me. Second and last piece in this bundle is this Banana Republic floral printed green open front little kimono duster piece. Really pretty. It has this like accordion pleat to it. And I found this at the bins. I have said this so many times, but I always grab poncho style pieces like this just because they sell so quickly for me, especially in the spring and summer months when people want a, you know, some lightweight layering items. And that one was, did I say it was Banana Republic? So it was, you know, a pretty reputable brand. It has a really cute print and cut to it. So when the two of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $68 and someone offered me 50, which I went ahead and accepted. They sold within just a couple days of being listed. Uh, so very quick sale. Same with the Madewell top. And I said the Ibex sat for a couple months. Um, but yeah, very quick sales here. I really love that shirt. I would be very curious to know the brand. It almost reminds me of a Free People kind of shirt jacket that I actually owned at one time. Okay, next up we have a skirt. This is a midi skirt from Talbot and it's 100% Lyocell. The main reason that I got it was because it's new without tags. It still has the uh, extra buttons attached. And because it was a size 8, this Lyocell fabric, it's very drapey and kind of cooling. So I thought it'd be good for warmer weather. Um, it was missing the belt, however. I didn't know that until I got it home and found a stock photo. And so I listed it at 28, which is a bit lower than I would have if um, it had all of its accessories. I probably would have listed it closer to 35-ish. So I listed at 28. After I would say two months of being listed, I got a $19 offer, which I did go ahead and accept. Just kind of keeping, again, that missing accessory in mind. Um, my earnings came out to $15.20. I paid two, and so my net profit was $13.20. Still a really nice skirt though. You could totally add your own belt or not wear a belt. Um, I've seen some people wear like a chunky kind of shoelace type belt recently, which I think is cute. You could definitely get kind of creative with that. Okay, next we have a pair of Teva sandals. Really nice pair of shoes. I picked these up at the bins. They are a genuine leather strappy upper with this really durable kind of rubber sole in excellent condition. I think, I think the footbed is suede. So yeah, some really nice high quality materials going on. These are just kind of your perfect summer sandal. These were listed, I would say, let's see, maybe two weeks before they sold. So I had them listed at 40. Someone liked them and so I sent them out a $36 offer with discount ship. That was accepted making my earnings $26.12. I paid two and so my net profit was $24.12 on these shoes. So not a bad return at all. I mentioned in the haul, but I absolutely love finding Tevas, Chacos. Um, those are the shoe brands I can think of. Sorel sandals. Um, anything that you can kind of wear. It's more of like a functional kind of shoe. It makes a fashion statement, but it's also very functional and practical. 
People love practicality, especially with their shoe wear, shoe, yeah, I think that's a thing, shoe wear. Um, comfort shoes are huge, Mephisto, Dansko, Clarks, those are all big, uh, reputable comfort kind of shoes. Okay, next we have a three item bundle. First off is a pair of Zara jeans. These are so cute. I actually picked these up from my regularly priced Goodwill store, which I am very picky about uh, just because everything there is definitely more expensive. These were $7, but they're a dark wash, high rise, wide leg jean with a frayed hem. They also have this adorable tie waist in excellent condition. They really look almost brand new. Uh, so I had to get these very kind of modern, contemporary, minimalist, but still kind of boho. So they kind of cross over to several style categories. Second piece, also Zara. This is a denim tank top, like a high neck tank top. This would be so cute with these jeans. I wonder if the buyer is planning to wear them together, but yeah, adorable. This I grabbed from the bins. It's very lightweight, so I probably paid about a dollar for it. So when you average the two of these together, a dollar for the tank, seven for the pants, that means that I only paid four dollars each. So that's a prime example of why I absolutely love shopping at the bins because it just brings your cost of goods down across the board um, and it really does pay off for sure. Okay, we have one last item in this bundle that is a pair of Sam Edelman suede upper espadrille little slip-on mules. Really cute. These look great condition size seven and a half these would actually also be super cute with the outfit so <laughs> this is a full complete adorable outfit here i hope the buyer really likes it when the three of these were added together the bundle price came out to 75 dollars that does include my automatic 15 percent off bundle discount of three items or more that i have in my my Poshmark closet. It's very easy to turn on if you want to do that. You just go to my seller tools and then from there I think you can do my closet discount and you can just select whichever discount you want. But yeah, so it came out to 75 for the three items and someone offered me 65, which I did go ahead and accept. The jeans I've had for, I would say, two or three months now, so I was ready to move those out. Tank top and shoes were very newly listed. So, is this? $10.95, yeah. I might have to get a bigger box for this bundle. Let me see. Nope, that works. Okay, so this is box number $10.95. I use this for medium to big-ish kind of bundles like this one. Um, and then I have box number 1092 that I use for smaller bundles. And um, towards the end of the video, I will pull out my box number seven. That's what I use for my largest bundles. Let me double check, yes. And then of course we have our Tyvek envelopes. Uh, they are waterproof and they hold up really well. That's what I ship, I would say, the majority of my stuff in. I have everything linked down below on the USPS website. If you order it, it comes straight to your door, free of charge for you to use um, if you are wanting to start selling on Poshmark. Okay, moving on, a two-piece bundle. First off is this dress. The brand is Peach Love California, made in USA. I hadn't heard of the brand, but the quality looked pretty good to me when I saw it at the bins. It's fully lined. It has a tiered baby doll 
kind of cut to it with this adorable floral print. Um, I found multiple of these. I think I found like maybe five, but I only picked up two, the two in a size large. I'm kind of regretting not getting all of them because this was the second one to sell and they both sold super quickly. So I should have gotten all of them. Second and last piece is this altered state striped print button down dress, adorable. It has a little ruffle trim, also fully lined. So some great summery dresses here. The bundle price for these two came out to $56. And I got an offer for $38, which I did accept. That made my earnings $30.40. I paid around $3 for both. I got both from the bins. When I say the bins, I'm talking about the Goodwill outlet, uh, which like the name suggests, it's just Goodwill, like these chain thrift store Goodwill's outlet center. It's where they send um, everything that they are. It's the last stop for a lot of their merchandise. Uh, they just want to get rid of it basically. So they throw it into these huge blue bins and everyone can go in, dig through the blue bins, find treasures. And then when you check out, you pay by the pound. It's different at every store. Well, I would say it's different based on location. So here in Houston, it's $2.19 per pound. Um, in Austin, I know it's... I think a dollar seventy nine cents per pound, um, and you do get a, an additional discount if you buy a certain poundage. Like if I buy fifty pounds and up, the price per pound goes from two dollars and nineteen cents down to a dollar seventy nine cents. So did I say? Yeah, my net profit was twenty seven dollars on these two dresses. Happy with that. Next up, we have a pair of Eileen Fisher pants, also from Goodwill Outlet. These are a size 3X. They're a really soft and comfy, stretchy, pull-on, ponty knit pant. Definitely a closet slash wardrobe staple here. I have lint rolled these multiple times. <laughs> they do still have a little bit of lint on them but overall these are in really good condition they really don't show any signs of wear and these probably retailed if i had to guess for i would say like 120 to 150 ish they have really cute little zips at the ankles so i listed these at 50 just because they are in such good shape someone liked them and so I sent them out a $45 offer with discount ship that was accepted, making my earnings $33.32. I send out the uh, $4.99 shipping discount if you're curious. I paid around $2 for these, and so my net profit was $31.32. So a great return. I stumbled into a bin with lots of Eileen Fisher and Garnet Hill, which are two of my favorite brands to sell for sure. Uh, they have a very high retail price point which doesn't always translate over to the resale value, but these were size 3X, excellent condition, and like I was mentioning, they're for sure a closet staple, which um, I would say the more kind of basic stuff from Eileen Fisher definitely sells very well for me, um, just because people like to, people know that they're, basics from Eileen are very, very expensive. So they turn to the secondhand market to just get kind of a cheaper deal on them, but still have amazing quality basics in their wardrobes. Okay, moving on. Neon Buddha is the brand on this 
tunic tank, super cute. It's definitely a longer length. It's a slub cotton. It has a tiered design at the bottom hem with these very cute mismatched buttons. Uh, definitely kind of a lag and look artsy kind of vibe to this, which was why I got it. I actually found this on Dollar Day at my local family thrift center outlet. So that was exciting. I don't think I've ever sold this brand before. I have seen it in the past and I would have picked it up, but I think the condition wasn't there. This tank top was, it looks like it's never been worn. So I had to get it, had to try it out especially with it being dollar day. I listed this at $28 and I would say within a week to two weeks of being listed, it sold for full price. So I think I will for sure be picking this up again in the future. Um, my earnings were $22 and 40 cents and my net profit was $21 and 40 cents. So happy with that for sure. Moving on, we have an adorable COS COS dress in this really interesting kind of obscure abstract geometric watercolor print, I would say. It has pockets. This is very kind of minimalist, contemporary, modern, artsy. Um, you could even do lag and look. I would say art to wear would be a good keyword. Um, a lot of people search for that. I listed this at $45 and um, maybe one month after being listed, I received a $35 offer, which I did accept. My earnings came out to 28 and my net profit was $26 on this dress. It's really pretty, really interesting, very cool. It's like a uh, pretty lightweight material. It's just 100% cotton, I believe. So we could totally wear this out and about this time of year. I would say cost is Kind of on the same wavelength as Zara, in my opinion, maybe just a bit higher. I think it's actually owned by H&M, so it's like a uh, tier above H&M uh, kind of quality and look. I could be wrong on that, don't quote me. Okay, next we have this Juicy Couture Terry Cloth dress. I guess you could wear this as like a bathing suit cover up or you know just as a mini dress i mainly got this because it's just very y2k 90s late 90s in my opinion um juicy couture is definitely back in style it's trending uh and you know the sweatsuits i would totally pick up like a full sweatsuit if you find it i think that would sell very well i did add all the keywords that i was just mentioning um, it did sit for a while. I think I might have listed this in the winter time. And so obviously it didn't sell, but I recently relisted it at $25 and someone liked it. And so I sent them out a $22 offer with discount ship, which they did accept. That made my earnings $17.60. This was also a dollar day find, and so my net profit came out to right around $17 on this dress. I could totally see someone wearing this with like chunky platform flip flops and some uh, kind of 90s sunglasses. That'd be so cute. Okay, I'm actually out of paper, so I need to grab some more paper. So I typically use Duck brand packing paper. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it and seen it. Um, but I had some Amazon credit and Duck brand paper. I feel like, is it not available on Amazon? There's some reason that I can't order it on Amazon. And so I have always linked a paper that I thought you know, that looked very similar to Duck Brand for you guys in my description. 
and I finally ordered it myself. So here it is. This is uh, the paper that is linked in my descriptions. It's from U-Haul wrapping paper, 24 inches by 30 inches, sheets of clean white newsprint. And I believe this is recycled paper. So we love that. Um, this looks like a lot of paper. So, wow. Yes, we have a hefty stack here. This is definitely larger than the Duck Brand paper. It looks really nice. So, yeah, I'm excited to use this. It is very, very, very similar to Duck Brand. It's just a little bit larger. Okay, next up we have a Lucky Brand blouse. This is like a boho peasant style blouse and I picked this up mainly because it was a size extra large and I would say extra large to plus size in Lucky Brand sells extremely well. Uh, dresses for sure, also tops, tanks, um, anything really. This one, I didn't notice at the store, or maybe I did notice, I forget, but the button loop, the top button loop is missing. The button's still there, but the loop is missing. But I figured that wouldn't be a huge deal, just because I feel like a lot of people wouldn't button it anyway, so I still got it. I listed at 25. If it still had the button loop, I probably would have listed closer to 28-ish. Um, but yeah, listed at 25 and someone liked it. So I sent them out a $22 offer with discount ship that was accepted, making my earnings $14.92. I paid two for this. And so my net profit was right around $13 on this top. Okay, moving on. We have this Anthropology Jumpsuit by Moulinette Sewers. Really cute. It has a tie front, really soft, stretchy jersey knit material. Um, it just seems very comfy. Really good shape. This was also, I got this at my Family Thrift Center outlet, so I did pay $2 for it. I have lint rolled it several times, but it keeps finding the lint. Okay, there we go. I think it had to do with opening a new paper roll, but that's okay. We are back on track here. Okay. This also has pockets. It just seems very comfy and wearable. Second and last item in this bundle is this Lauren by Ralph Lauren 100% cotton button up gingham tank top with a little tie waist. It also has, it's like a contrasting gingham chest pocket with the embroidered Ralph Lauren logo on it. So I figured because of that, anything with a logo always sells a little bit better for me. Um, and this sold, both of these sold very quickly. I would say within a week of being listed. So. When the two were added together, the bundle price came out to $88 and someone offered me $60, which I did accept. That made my earnings $48. I paid $2 per item and so my net profit was $44 for these two items. So I'm happy with that, especially because they sold very quickly. They're off to their new homes. I really did like the gingham print on that tank. That's definitely one of my personal favorite prints for sure. 
Okay, moving on, we have, this was a great sale. These are like a cargo pant. They're called the Wonder Pant from Anthropology, and they have this adorable kind of contrasting stripe down the sides with an exposed button fly. Um, so I listed these at $58.00. And someone liked them, so I sent them out a $52 offer with discount ship. And to that, they countered at $42, which I was more than happy to accept. That made my earnings $33.60. These also cost me $2, and so my net profit was right around $32.00 for these pants. Honestly, they're so cute though, with the kind of contrasting fabric on the sides and they're a high waist. This Wander style from Anthropology definitely does sell very well for me. I sold several pairs of shorts and pants in this style and they always sell for, I would say 30 to 35 plus, sometimes up to 40, they sold for 42. Um, and they also were the newer tag, the buy anthropology tag. So I'm sure that helped them out as well. Okay, next up, adorable shirt here. This is by the brand Jane and Delancey, which I have sold, I think a couple times in the past now based on style. I got this particular top because it's a size extra large and because it has a novelty print to it. It has little giraffes all over, which is obviously adorable. You guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while now, I am definitely more likely to pick up novelty prints. Um, I think the last shirt I sold in this brand, Jane and Delancey also had. A novelty print it was like a cheetah print um, and that sold I want to say full price for 28 this I listed at 28 and someone offered me 23 I would say within about a week of being listed I did go ahead and accept that that made my earnings $18 and 40 cents and my net profit $16 and 40 cents so definitely happy with that. Um, this is definitely kind of like a bread and butter type item for me. It looked brand new. It also had the roll tab sleeves, which is really nice. You can wear them rolled or long. Maeve by Anthropology again, a newer tag. This was one of my favorite finds on a day that I was sourcing. It's a corduroy button down a dress with a tie front over the chest. So cute in a size 14, which we love. I love finding plus size in any of the more popular brands like Madewell, Anthropology, Free People, Lululemon. Um, they definitely do sell better. And also because I just like to have, you know, every size in my closet. I think that's a really important thing um, to cater to everyone, every size. This had pockets. It also had some, um, like a contrast lining at the wrist cuff. So if you roll the wrist cuff, you have a little contrasting print there. So cute. So I listed this dress at 50. And someone liked the listing, so I sent them out a $45 offer with discount ship. And to that, they did counter at 38, which I went ahead and accepted. That so made my earnings $30.40. I paid two, so my net profit was $28.40 on this dress. So I would say that's definitely a higher uh, kind of return than I typically make on anthropology. 
items and that's for sure because this was a newer piece adorable style and a um, pretty in-demand size next we have this blue and gray sweater it's like a waterfall draped front sweater it has an all-over pointel knit to it that's just the um, kind of look to the knit pointel um, I got this mainly because it is 7% alpaca 20% wool so for sure has a higher quality fabric blend to it also I've mentioned it so many times but cardigans are definitely one of my top selling categories um, cardigans just sell very well for me even in the summertime I would say also a really pretty kind of mossy green color so I listed this at $35 I probably had this for I would say like six months or so before I got an offer for 25 which I did accept I was ready to move it out my earnings were 20 and my net profit was $18 on this cardigan. I love finding blue and gray. If this had been their signature soft fabric, which is 97% rayon and 3% spandex, it would have sold within a week. I'm very confident that fabric blend just flies out of my closet, but I'm still happy with the sale. I would pick this piece up again. Okay, second to last sale for today is this Vince pink dress. This is the older tag from Vince, with, which I do try to shy away from these days. But I found this at the bin, so it probably only cost me about a dollar. And I thought it was a little bit more substantial with the cut to it. It is a really nice dress. It was in excellent condition really pretty kind of mauve color it has slip in pockets in front um, and you know I mean you could totally dress this up dress it down it's very wearable I had this I would say for about six months and then I recently relisted it so I've been relisting like crazy and so much has been selling I would highly suggest you guys relist your stuff I uh, Listed this at 38, relisted it at 38, and pretty immediately got an offer of 25, which I accepted. Again, ready to move it out. This probably retailed for 150, um, but you know, retail value, like I was saying earlier, definitely does not always uh, translate directly into resale value by any means. And my net profit was still $19 on this dress. So I'm happy with that. I always aim for around a $20 net profit on my Goodwill bins items. So that hit that mark. Okay, for our very last sale, we are going to use box number seven. This is, I was mentioning it earlier, it's my largest box. It's for bigger items or larger bundles. These are a pair of leather boots like moto boots from Steve Madden they are called the bruiser boot and I have sold these several times in the past for around that $50 mark these I listed at 58 and I would say a week maybe two weeks after being listed I got a $40 offer I did go ahead and accept that even though um, they usually sell for around 50 45 to 50 ish mainly because we are in the dead of summertime and so I don't really want to wait for them to sell in winter time so I accepted $40 that's still pretty good honestly my earnings were 32 and my net profit was $30 on these boots so I'm happy with that I'm going to go ahead get these taped up and then package all this stuff up I put it all into Ikea bags to take it down to the post office and continue on with my day so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please feel free to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see y'all soon bye guys